Hey y'all, so we're out here in the shop today. Um, I'm finally gonna get this Ubiquiti uh, U7 outdoor access point installed. Um, it's been sitting in the house for about four months. I uh, just haven't had the time uh, to deal with it. Um, so I'm gonna get it put up today. Uh, probably not gonna be able to actually get it connected because our Spectrum internet has gone down again. Uh, Hurricane Helene came through a couple weeks ago and knocked out our internet for about nine days. Uh, it came back up um, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe three days ago, we lost it again. So still waiting on that to come back up. So I won't be able to do any speed tests or anything like that today. Um, I'm possibly gonna be able to get it connected to the network at least. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be possible or not. Um, I don't know if it has to have internet access to be able to connect to the network or if I can at least get it on there. So. We'll kind of see how that goes as we get there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the U7 and I'm gonna mount it somewhere out here um, on the outside of the shed. It's probably gonna go right here on the corner. Uh, that's kind of the plan for today is just get the thing installed, get it hung up and um, connected with the cables. And I will see if we can get it um, on the network at least. Um, but like I said, Internet's down, so no speed tests or anything today, but um, let's get started. All right. So we're just gonna disconnect that and we will tape our ethernet up to this little fish stick and then we'll run that through the, um, through the hole here and that'll get us outside. And then we will send that on through. There we go. Yep. All right, so that's the cable that we have available and that should be plenty to get right here. Um, so I will go ahead and get this thing uh, mount it up here. So this is the little mounting pole for the access point. Um, so it's just going to sit right up here. That's good right there. So here's our access point. Um, and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this thing connected to the ethernet. So it's got a little grommet down here, nice waterproof grommet. So we'll connect that in, get this put back on there. And then <clears throat> this is our pole mount. So it'll slide on here. What I'm gonna do first is go ahead and route these clamps through this before I slide it in place. So that's nice and tight. Let's see if we can get this set on there. That's perfect. So there are some little plugs up here. So we'll just pull those out and then thread these in. All right. So that should be connected now. Right. Well, it's not gonna let me uh, get it connected without the internet. So um, it's just gonna kinda sit there and look pretty until we get internet back. Uh, hey y'all, so we're back here today to get the uh, access point finished up. Kinda like the building bridge, you actually have to connect it to the network and get everything set up uh, before you deploy it. So I am gonna make a few changes here. Um, one of the things that I needed 
that I didn't remember or realize that I needed um, was a PoE injector. Um, this thing has to have power, obviously, and it's powered by PoE. Um, and I have an injector up here for the building bridge, um, but what I forgot was only one of these ports is actually PoE. One is just a strictly network port and one is the PoE. So when I hooked up the access point outside, uh, it wasn't getting any power and realized through the process of troubleshooting that that, that was the issue. So what I did was um, I went ahead and set the unit up um, by connecting it in my house and getting it on the network and getting it um, adopted into the UniFi system, um, into my UniFi network. And so now all I need to do is get this new injector installed out here and then um, get this thing put back up. Um, so. Getting it up and running was very simple. Um, it was a lot more simple than the building bridge. Um, if you have seen that video, um, you already know. If not, go back and watch it. This is much simpler uh, because it's just an access point. It's, um, you set it up just like any of the other uh, Unify access points. Um, so, you know, connect it to the network go into the app, it'll already be populated in there, you adopt it into your network, and you're good to go. Uh, the other thing that I need to mention is, although it does have both omnidirectional and a directional antenna, um, you can't actually use both of those at the same time. Uh, I thought you could, um, it wasn't explicitly stated anywhere, I just kind of assumed that you could. So you can go into the app and select which one you want to use. Um, I'm going to probably go with the omnidirectional. Um, I think I'll have plenty of coverage with that. Uh, I may go ahead and switch it to directional just to see how it does. Um, I don't know, you know, obviously it's a directional antenna. You're going to get your best signal whichever direction it's pointing. But I am kind of curious to see if you're behind that antenna, um, if there's any coverage or none at all. Um, so I may kind of play around with that a little bit and uh, kind of show you guys how that goes. Um, but we'll, we'll see that when we get there. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is um, pull the Ethernet cable out of that corner um, because also since I already had to buy and wait for a, um, a new power injector, um, which is this right here. I also went ahead and got um, one of their outdoor patch cables. So since this is going to be outside, um, I went ahead and got the outdoor patch cable. Uh, I was just using standard um, Cat6. <clears throat> the patch cable that Unify has, unfortunately, is Cat5e, um, but really for what I'm doing, it, it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, I'm not going to be running speeds that are going to need anything higher than that, so that'll work just fine. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and get that cable uh, situation taken care of. We'll get the new cable pulled through. I'll see you guys when I get done with that. Okay, y'all, so I got this thing done. Um, I've got the uh, power injector right there, and then this new white cable is my um, outdoor rated Ethernet, and then we go right here to the outside. Um, you can see it's actually on now. Uh, we get the little power light there. So it's running and it's running well. Um, I have it on the internal antenna right now, which is the um, the directional antenna. And I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I did some speed tests. Basically. Going this way, where that fallen tree is, is about as far back as I'll ever go. And back there, I still have about 100 meg um, internet service. I'm getting about, I think, right around 180 meg right here next to the, the shop. So getting 100 out there, still pretty good. Um, all I'm really gonna be doing out here is streaming music and stuff like that while I'm working. So it's probably not, you know, I don't really need that much. But where I'm really impressed with this thing is the internal directional antenna going that way. So I'm gonna turn you around here. Uh, this is my driveway and it's kind of hard to see exactly how long it is. I think I'm actually gonna measure it just so I can tell you guys exactly what it is. 
Um, but it is a long way out there. And as you can see, it's not a clear path. We got trees and stuff in the way. Um, but I was able to get all the way to the end of the driveway and still have usable internet signal. Now it was not, now it's not something that you're gonna be browsing or really quickly or doing, you know, intensive work, uh, but that's not really what I need out here anyway. Um, when I was all the way at the end of the driveway, I was getting uh, somewhere around 20 something meg, I believe it was. About three quarters of the way down, I was already, you know, I was, I was still at uh, like 100 meg, 95 meg, something like that. Uh, so it's plenty of speed for what I need out here. I think that's kind of where I'm gonna end it. I gotta go get Sadie from school here pretty soon. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Uh, again, this is the U7 outdoor uh, Wi-Fi access point from Ubiquity. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you on the next one.